Welcome back to my channel. I am Tim Green. I write in the pen name T Green. And today is my goals of 2019. Dash quarter one goals for 2019. Dash review of fourth quarter slash slash fourth quarterly goals of 2018 and how I did. Whew! Got that out of the way. Okay. If you're new to my channel, you will know that uh, every three months I do a video on my quarterly goals for the next three months. And I review my goals I have gone. Well, we're starting a new year, so... Uh, oh, I'm starting a new year, so I'm doing my goals for 2019 as well as the goals I'm planning for the next three months. But let's, before we continue, we must, must go back of 2018. Well, actually a few months. Back to October, really. And look at what my goals for t the fourth quarter of 2018. This is very simple. I had four. Four? Three? I think it was three. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was three. What were my goals? Well, my two major goals were finish book two of my Veil Trilogy and finish book three three of my Veil Trilogy, the first drafts. So I had only completed book one. So those are my two primary goals. I'm happy to say, check and check. But I completed those books because I, if I did not complete them by December 5th, 1159 with 59 seconds, I had to pay my friends $250. I achieved that, I sent that stuff out to them, actually with like two hours to spare, so it was great. Um, though I'm pretty sure they completely forgot about that. Uh, about it so anyway so I've achieved those goals for t um, the fourth quarter my other goal was to continue my development of my longest yeah my lo second longest project in the works Dragon Nations and I stated this very clearly if I make any progress it can be v anything I can check this off as I make progress on it. Check. I am happy to say that I did make a lot more progress on that book series than I planned to, but I have made some developments on there. So I am happy to say the fourth quarter was a big success for me. I achieved all three of my goals. Yay! Those were the fourth quarter, so let's move on to 29. <sighs> You didn't see that. You did not. We'll talk about my overall goals first, and then we'll go into the, for the first quarter goals. But before we do that, I want to do a, take a brief second and just talk about my master's program. For the next 11 months through October, uh, that's where my focus has to be. So I will not be having a lot of goals overall. That has been my primary goal. I'll talk more about the state of this channel next week in the state of the YouTube channel address. I have two major goals for 2019. And then I have a few medium goals and so what. That there. But my, actually, say these are probably actually major goals. Yeah, I have five major goals. I'm sorry. But there's two that are bigger than all the other ones. So my ultimate goals are here. To revise Seeing Through the Veil, book one of the Veil Trilogy. Continue writing draft 1-2 of Sharing the Veil. More on that in a minute. Practice some novel writing, write some short stories, continue developing Dragon Nation. I'm gonna pop into these ones, each ones really quickly and let me just discuss them. So revising Seeing Through the Veil. Writing the entire trilogy in one year was great. Planning wise, planning wise was terrible. But I learned a lot about my story and some directions I kind of want to go with it. I need to do some revisions. I don't really, haven't really revised many of my books in the past. I think the furthest I've gotten is a full second draft revision but that was kind of almost like a page one rewrite of the book with a new direction because I've never really actually gone beyond that I don't 
really know my strengths as a writer that well. I know some of my weaknesses, but I don't know what my strengths. So I, what I want to do is I want to revise the first book, Seeing Through the Veil, in the direction I see it going. And then I want to send it off to get a, prof a professional critique. I do plan on posting some stuff online to get some that way, but I do want to actually pay someone who's actually going to read it, sit down, read the book from page one to the last page, and really give me um, some thoughts. What do I what do I think is strong but isn't? What do they feel like I need to work on? Word count, stuff like that, and all the steps. So that is what my goal is for seeing through the veil. And let's move on to finish writing draft. 1-2 of Sharon the Veil. Because I had so many scenes in the third book, I actually had to scrap all the scenes except for the primary storyline to get it done in the time frame I had. Again, poor planning. So what I want to do this year is, there's throughout the year, not in months or anything like that, is go back and actually start writing the other character point of views and adding in because I do want a full finished book done. I don't want to let it sit the way it is and then when I finally get to that book to write it, to publish it and all that, I have to write all this extra stuff because I never did it. Now, I want that there so when I come back to it to move on it and publish it, I can actually be like, okay, I, it's complete. Let's go and look at what I've done in the past, what I've changed and in the other books that will lead into this and how can I affect that. So that's what I will be doing. We're going to just jump forward to short stories. Well, I want to write a few short stories. I've had this idea for a short story in my uh, head for a while that kind of turned into more of a novella. I don't want to do a novella yet. Maybe someday. But I do want to do like a 10,000 word short story. Maybe last, maybe 5,000 words short story and really polish that, like really nail that and maybe even put it out, send it out to some short story competitions to see how that comes out. That way, hey, if I can win an award, win one of the, a few of these, that will help when it comes time to publish, I can actually say, hey, I'm an award winning um, short story list. This is my first novel. And finally, I just want to keep crafting Dragon Nations. Uh, one of the problems I have with my worlds is I don't spend enough time crafting them, all the stories and all that, down to where I want them to be, where they should be before I start writing. Because I get, oh, this is a cool story. Ooh, ooh, ah. I want to start writing them. So I want to spend a lot of time really developing that world, really getting the nuts and bolts of it. So that's what I'm going to be doing for 2019. Now, you may notice I skipped over one of my uh, goals. I want to practice in novel writing. That's actually an idea I got from Brandon Sanderson. Uh, he talked about, he started writing, he's like, first five books were terrible. He knew it, he was practicing, and he actually just wrote novels with no intention to really publish them, but to practice, to, to get practice in writing. And I think that's a really cool idea because there's something I learned from seeing the veil, world within the veil, and shouting the veil is I jump into my stories way too quickly, and I really want to just write them. I'm like, ah, because they're awesome, and when I can do this, and I'll go back, and I'll actually like put it together, and then get ready to get published. Because oh, I do want to publish stuff, but at the same time, I want my work to be good. I don't want it to be crap. That's why I think I'm going to actually develop some standalone novels that I have no intentions of publishing and really just like, okay, here's what I want to do, so what I need to know, and I'm writing the story. But that's one of the things I'm definitely going to try in 2019. I don't necessarily know if I'm actually going to write one. I will spend some time here and there to, when I can to develop one. But, all right. That's my 2019 goals. Let's dive into t the first quarter of 2019. All right, so my goals are going to be a, th uh, a few. I don't know how many. We'll see. My first goal is going to be 
start revisions on Scenes of the Veil. I'll break this down, this one down by the months, um, January, February, and March, just so that you can kind of get an idea of this, because it's going to be month one, January, is to read through Scene Through the Veil and start writing down ideas as I'm writing new ideas to improve it, what I have, but also start writing down ideas of where I want to go with it. February will be to actually start taking those new ideas from the read-through and uh, my notes and what needs to change and start planning the new scene list and what I need to change, what I'm going to remove, what I'm going to keep, all that stuff. As well, specifically, character development. I will feel like some of my characters need in the month of March, I'm going to act finalize everything from the book I want to do, new outline, new scenes list. This way in second quarter I can actually start working on it. My second goal for the th on the first quarter is going to be reassemble the, the new scenes list for book three. I'm going to go through all my, my scenes that I removed and plot them back in. Well, I have more done, but really kind of see how things have changed I have now, what I've written, and how that's going to affect everything else that I haven't written. My third goal is going to be write something different, something completely different than I've ever written, and it's going to be more of a series of short stories that I will probably combine together into a novel. I'm not going to give, go into details because I'm still kind of, what I have in my head could have turned out to be something different, but I do want to write something little fun stuff that I can just kind of write here and there. So that is what I want to start doing. And that's going to be the goal. And then my fourth goal for the quarter, yeah, I'll do four, is to really pick the short story I want to write and really kind of figure out the ins and outs of what I want to accomplish. Kind of outline it, like really figure out, I know what happens to the scene, but how I can really dive into it. How can I make it a really cool 5,000, 10,000 word short story? But I think I want to aim for 5,000, but depending on what I get, maybe it'll be 6, uh, 10,000, but I'm not really going there. That's something I want to accomplish, figure out this month. Those are my goals for 2019 and my first quarter goals of 2019. Let me know down in the comment section what you think of my goals, what are your goals, write those down there please. And on your way down, be sure to go and give me a thumbs up. You made it to the end of this long video than I thought it was going to be. I'm sorry. But go give me a thumbs up because you made it to the end. Be sure to subscribe, click that bell, and join the collective. If you don't know what the collective is, it's my followers. You're my collective. Ring that bell and join the collective of awesomeness. My social media stuff is on the screen. Go and check me out there. I do lots of stuff on my Instagram. And be sure to go over and check out my podcast with my buddy Adam Daly over the Zoom One podcast. Link down below to our episodes. And I hope you guys have a great um, rest of the writing week. And hope your 2019 is starting off awesome.